Welcome to another tutorial by Corinthians Corey about how to import 3D Max figures or objects into Poser 6 and rig them very quickly for use in a scene. To do this, we're going to be starting in 3DS Max uh, version 8. And what we'll be doing in there is quickly importing Victoria 4.2. And to do that in Max, we're going to import the object file. So we're going to go to File and Import. Once in, what you need to do is immediately go to Wavefront Object. That's what you're attempting to import. So select Wavefront Object, navigate to Poser's Runtime folder, that could be Curious Labs Poser 6 Runtime. In there you'll find B Millennium Woman B4. That's the one that you'll want to import. Once there, go ahead and click Open. And it'll immediately import into the scene. What it first asks you, however, is if you'd like to import it in as a single figure or as a multiple configuration of each different body group, as you can see here. One of the important things to remember is that we're only going to be modeling clothes, so we could bring it in as a single object. However, I like to bring in with all the different parts exposed here, just so that if I happen to have a liking to make a dress that's just short enough to fit onto the hips without having to go any further down, uh, say down to the shins and not past the thighs, then it's a good idea to be able to see exactly where the thighs are in the hierarchy, and that way you don't actually have to go down. Now the next thing to note is all, all the geometry options up here. Just leave these set the way that they are. The most important thing to note is the vertex scale. Poser's size is actually very minuscule. For instance, a human size is about 5 foot 6. And Poser's universal scale is about the size of that 5 foot 6 compared to the period on the end of a sentence. That's how small V4 is. Now 3D Max, huge, but if you were to take a model that you do into 3D Max into Poser, you'd immediately know that the size is completely off. So what I like to do is make the vertex scale 300. And then once I'm ready to export out of 3D Max and back into Poser, I just have to remember to size everything down. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in at 300 vertex scale. Leave the options for use material off. There are no material options that 3D Max uses with Poser's Media Import and just click OK. And here we immediately see Victoria 4 brought into the scene. So I'll go ahead and rotate her here. And there she's posted in each, in each individual scene. Uh, what I'll be then doing is going to each individual view box here and pressing the F4 to get rid of that wireframe mode. Okay, and once she's in a viewable method, what we'll then be doing is taking a cylinder and we're going to start in the top view, then work in the front view, and then in the left view to get the cylinder to look like a dress that's put on her. So what I'll do is I'll click on Cylinder and the Standard Geometry. I'm going to start right here in the center of her head. Hold down Control, click and drag outward. And just wait for that dress to form there. Well, a cylinder, soon to be a dress. Just let go eventually and then pull straight up. And with your cylinder in place, while you're in 3D Max anyway, you'll want to go ahead and press Alt and W to bring your front viewport fully into view. Scroll in, that way you can see just the dress. Now as you can see, we've got a cylinder selected and a cylinder placed on V4. So what we'll want to do then is make a body cage for that. The body cage then can be used to manipulate the shape of the object. So 
a lot of people would actually use the cylinder. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is using the 4x4x4 four by four by four method. Not the prettiest, of course, but it does work. So what I'll do then is go ahead and click on the control points. And as you can see, there's many yellow points here. What I'll do is zoom in on each section here. And what I'm going to be doing is selecting all the top ones. I'm going to right click and then choose scale. And scale these in like so. Just so that it looks like we're getting some semblance of an at least slightly tight fitting dress. Adjustments may need to be made later, but for now it's fine. So we'll see that the bottom is a bit more sweeping. Scaling that outward, as you can see. Scrolling up and through. So it's a little tighter on the hips, and then immediately flares outward down toward the bottom. So that's fine for the front view. So what we need to do then is go to the left view, and to do that in 3D Max, we press L on the keyboard. Or you can right click here and choose View and choose Left. Uh, what we'll then do is go into here and zoom in. And what we'll be doing here is actually uh, using these same control points to move the dress closer to the body here. So I'm going to select these back sections here. And I'm going to go ahead and scale this in. We don't want to forget about the actual uh, rear section here. We'll do some more manipulation with that in a short while. This tutorial won't be focusing on making this perfect. I'm then going to right click and choose move and move the whole dress selection back a bit. Scroll back out. Then select the bottom section, push that back a bit. And as you can see at this point, it's mostly a personal choice as to how you're modeling this. And then I'll be selecting this back section here and moving that back. Okay, so as you can see now, we've gone ahead and made a nice dress for Victoria 4. And we'll press the... F3 button to get it back to a shaded view. And as you can see, there's some poke through going on right about here. So let's go ahead and perspective view by pressing P. It's still in the wireframe mode, so we'll press F3 again. We'll zoom in on this. We want to do a quick once around, so we'll just uh, rotate. And it looks like the parts that are showing through are right around the hip section. And that's pretty normal. So. What we can then do is go ahead and put yet another selection of boxes on this. This time another F4. This time, of course, we'll be focusing on what's going on here in the top. While I'm looking at it, I'm deciding I don't like the way that the sections are doing. So I'm going to do something else here. And... I think I'll actually just use the one that I have. I'll just go ahead and select these points and push them in or pull them out as need be. Oops, I actually lost my selection. Go back a couple steps. So this is one of those design choices. And as a designer, I decided it's a little faster for me actually to move the actual polygons. Because as you can see, there's only two polygons here two polygons here that are actually affecting what's poking through. So what I'll do is I'll just right click and choose convert to poly. This is a pretty low resolution mesh right now, so it's fine to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just change that view. Right click, choose move, and then just push this out like so. It's fine to do that by eye. It doesn't have to be 